Okay, step three is called normalizing your audio. Okay, so you can see from just the waveforms, a lot of these waveforms go up into the yellow. This one, not a thing touches the yellow, and only a couple of these touch the yellow. We always want our audio to touch the yellow, but never the red. So let me just zoom in a little bit more so we can really see. You can see I'm zoomed in halfway, and that'll give you a better look at the audio here. Okay, so you can see I've got a couple of clips here that are touching the red. So I'm going to select this whole clip by just uh, clicking on it, and you can see now it's got a yellow border around it. And I'm going to come up here to volume, and I'm just going to drag this down until I start to... Um, let's get those guys going down. Just so just a few of them touch the yellow. Do you see how we just have a few of the mountaintops of these audio forms just touching the yellow? We don't want a lot of them, but we want a few of them to touch the yellow. Okay, we call that kissing the yellow. All right, and then and then I'm gonna now I'm gonna select this clip here. Now look at this clip here. We got nothing that even kisses the yellow here. Uh, none of these waveforms turn into yellow. So we've got to turn this one up. So again, I'm gonna go up here to volume. I'm going to then move this uh, forward. Let's see, I'm 246% and maybe 303. Now that looks like it's getting closer. A couple of them are kissing the yellow. That's great. And now let's go to our third one where it looks like we could bump this one up just a little bit because we have just really, I can only see one here that's touching the yellow. Remember, I'm zoomed in halfway. It makes a difference where the zoom is. So I always do my audio adjusting at the halfway mark with my zoom here. So let me just go and bump this audio up just a, just a hair, uh, 100 and, 162, 174, not a little too much, 132. Okay, so I'm just looking. These are starting to touch the yellow. Now, uh, th this is really important. You've seen it a lot in videos where part of the video is loud, part of the video is quiet, part of the video is loud, part of the video is right. That's very unprofessional, and nobody likes it. Nothing worse than bad audio. Let me just zoom out again so I can see everything. So you can see just a few are touching yellow, a few are touching yellow, a few are touching yellow. Let's go between these two clips again so you can hear what it sounds like. Basic, and it was really, really cool stuff. Later on, when I was older and grown up and married, okay. curiosity really drove... So those are sounding like they're at the right levels. Let me go to this between these two. But I got to tell you... The okay, this one is still sounding too low when I compare it to... The, I'm going to take from 303... I'm going to bump it up to 400 now, 400, 400, maybe 348. Okay, and uh, let me just listen to it now. How to build a house. I was always curious. Okay, now let's listen to this one. And we would launch rockets every weekend okay. and most of the time. You probably notice I can, I can hear the air conditioner running in this my childhood. I was So let's fix this one here. I'm going to, fix, I'm going to uh, select the first clip. Remember, you always have to tap it so that it's highlighted in yellow. Then you know that's when you're editing. I'm going to go up here to uh, the levels here, and I'm going to reduce background noise. Always leave it at 50%. That's the default, and it does a great job. Now let me listen to this. When I was young, elementary school into middle school, I was launching anything I could. Okay, so the, the air conditioner is about 75% of the noise of it gone. So that's sounding better. Let me just listen to this clip. Down, pandemic. Oh, I'm using a handheld mic, so there won't be any background noise there. Let me listen. This is just shot on my iPhone. A lot of help. Read a lot of books again. It seems like books, I get all my great information from books. I'm still not happy with the audio. I'm going to do one more try of this middle clip here. I'm going to go here, since I've got this already selected, and I'm going to go Equalizer, Voice Enhance. Ooh, okay, now look at how we bumped all the yellows. Let's zoom back into halfway. Okay, we got way, it's way too loud now. Let's go to volume. Let's take it from 348, and let's see. Oh, now this is going to sound good. How to... Okay, let's look at the transition. Thick, and it was really, really cool stuff. Later on, when I okay, still a little soft. Let me just do. It. Remember, you you got to spend time on this. Three, maybe, maybe three, three. Okay, here we go. Basic, and it was really, really cool stuff. Later on, when I was yeah, okay. Now they're finally looking good. Now your numbers might be different because you might you know maybe do this with headphones. It would be better. But now, so so step three is adjusting audio and making all your audio match. Okay, if it's poorly matched audio, no one's going to want to watch your video. Okay, audio is important. Um, you can see now. Let's just review the tricks I did. I adjusted the volume. I got everything so it's and when I'm at uh, middle view here, we got tracks that are just kissing the yellow, kissing the yellow in these waveforms down here. So that's looking good. Uh, the one, the first clip, I had to go in here and I had to add um, this reduced background noise, but not in the, any, any of the other ones. Uh, the other ones, microphones didn't pick up background noise. And then that middle one, I had to go in here and I had to use the equalizer and I had to voice enhance it just to get that voice to bump 
Uh, this was recorded with my iPhone and the not the greatest of microphones on my iPhone 10. So, so that's uh, that's good. That's now that's that's lesson three. We've got the audio sounding perfect. So we got good looking video, and now we got uh, good looking, uh, good sounding audio. So we're we're, we're cruising. <laughs>